business plan should I have prepared uh, before scheduling an appointment with a consulting group uh, so that I, my first mistake, second, third, fourth, fifth, doesn't cost me a fortune in five years or ten years? Well, but it's all in when you engage a consult consultant or consulting group to help you. For the most part, my experience is that the independent wants to engage the client too or, or I'm sorry, the independent wants to engage the consultant too early. And my experience is the national chain wants to engage the consultant too late. Okay. Now, let's face it, it's better for my business if they would just engage me early and keep paying me and paying me and paying me and paying me, but that's not our business model. That's not how I do business. That's why we've been around for a long time. How I do business is, listen, and I get this on the phone all the time. Guys call me and tell me, okay, I got this and I got this. And one of the first questions we ask them is, you got a business plan? Uh, no. Okay, well, call me back when you do. Because what I'm trying to get to is, are you going to put any effort towards this at all? Because if you're not going to put any effort towards this, I don't want to do it. Well, so I would rather see you throw some spaghetti noodles at the wall and see if they stick. Create the business plan. I can change it later. Really, I would rather have you engage me when you're right towards the end of the cycle of the business plan, but before you go to chase the investor. Because then I can take you back and I can fix these little items, and then we can re-engage with more energy. It costs you less money. It's easier for me to look at pages of information and point out what's wrong and tell you what to fix, and it takes a lot less of my work, therefore it costs you a lot less money, than it does to sit and, well, I don't know what I want to do. Now, there is an exception to that, and that is brainstorming. There is nothing wrong with hiring a consultant to help you with brainstorming or to help you with the overall view of the industry. But when it comes to business planning, you just got to get down and dirty and do it yourself. Now, in the case of national chains, in, in a lot of instances, a national chain or a regional chain, they think they have all the answers. So in a lot of instances, they don't think they need a consultant. But I'll tell you what they don't have. What they don't have is they don't have people that are looking at working with all of their competitors every day. So they're sitting there saying, well, I'm XYZ company, and therefore my people are everybody as good as this consultant. And they may be. I don't know. But I do know that their people only know their company. And I know their competitors as well as their and that's the difference. For a consultant to be worth his salt, he's going to have to know the players across the industry, in markets across the country. And that's not to say that I'm going to share other clients' personal information with this new client, but I still know it. And I can help people make decisions what's best for their business based on what I know of the industry, what I know of their competitors. And usually a national firm or a regional firm, they'll wait and they'll wait and they'll wait until really their back's against the wall and now we're in trouble. We need to <laughs>